Hello, 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 hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Carla. Hi. Jose. Jose. Hi, teacher. Welcome, welcome. It's a pleasure to see you again, right? Thank you, teacher. Jose, hello. <laughs> okay, listen. Hoy sí viene a tiempo. Solo un minutito me pasé ahora. <laughs> okay, but wait for me, eh. Espérenme. No, no se vayan a desesperar. Siempre voy a estar aquí. <laughs> Bueno, si Dios quiere, va, okay. But I I always wanna be here, right? Hey, Rolando, hello. Hoy se le ve la hello, imagen. teacher. Bien nítida se le ve la imagen, Rolando. Congratulations. <laughs> yes, nice. <laughs> Ricardo, welcome, Ricardo. Welcome, teacher. Okay. Now, Aníbal, Sara, and the rest, welcome, welcome, everybody. Now we're going to start with the two videos that I owe you, right? Let the video videos. So let me see. We're going to start here. Let's begin, right? Uh, en lo que abro el video, quiero decirles que la plataforma ha estado teniendo algunos problemas. Pero yes. es porque el servidor internacional ha estado fallando. No me pregunten cómo es, porque... De cuestiones técnicas no, no sé mucho, pero, pero sí les puedo decir que no está en manos de inglés corporativo, ¿verdad? Están haciendo todo el esfuerzo para que ustedes tengan Richard. la plataforma a tiempo. ¿Yes? ¿Yes, Carla? Eh, tengo una duda. Sí, bueno, se lo doy en español porque me hace difícil. Yes, hablar. yes, no problem, no problem. Dice eh, que el día de ahora me mandaron la invitación a mi WhatsApp uh -huh. para ir al módulo 3 que inicia el 9 de noviembre. Ah, bueno, excelente. De ya la están invitando. ¿Verdad? Pero Déjeme no ver. ya estoy en este, pues, que no ah, se supone. Ah, no, que... es que sí, entonces le han mandado la invitación incorrecta. Tiene que ser el módulo preintermedio 1, tiene que ser para usted, ¿verdad? Uh, no. Sí, porque eh, sí, estamos, estamos en el básico. Ajá. ¿verdad? Básico 3. Entonces, el que sigue es el preintermedio 1 es el siguiente nivel entonces ahí hay un error la tuvieron que haber inventado, invitado al preintermedio 1 ¿verdad? pero sería hasta que casi que del 20 o del 25 o de noviembre ¿verdad? terminamos ya le voy a decir exactamente cuando terminamos el, vein, el 20 de noviembre terminamos Carla Ah, ok, porque sí, explico, eh, de vaya. hecho a, mí, a mis otros dos compañeros, que sí. es, bueno, a una de mis compañeras que estamos de la misma empresa, también le, le generó esa invitación al WhatsApp. Ok, ¿y ellos están registrados, Carla? Sí, 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 nosotros trabajamos para servicios de cobro, así se ah, llama okay. la empresa. Ok, eh, Carlita, yo estoy al día, ¿eh? Okay. <risa> okay. No problem. <risa> ok. Este, sí, entonces es un error. Sí, ya la entendí bien. Sí, es que no le había captado totalmente la idea. No, pensé que le había invitado al siguiente nivel. No, le están invitando a uno que ya pasó. Sí, pero usted, ah, okay. usted ya está registrada. Usted tranquila, ¿verdad? Así que okay. ha, haga caso omiso de esa nota de cobro, por favor. <risa> no le haga caso. <risa> Vaya. Ok. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Good. Any other question? ¿Alguna otra preguntita antes de comenzar? Questions? No. Ok. So let's begin, right? Eh, les debo dos videos. Let me see. Section one. Por aquí nos quedamos. Ok. Uh, también mi plataforma está un poquito lenta, así que let's wait, right? esperemos un, un minutito. Eh, uh, I take the moment to remind you to save some water, right? Quiero recordarles que guarden un poquito de agüita porque parece ser que va a estar complicada la cosa con el agua, ¿verdad? According to, to Anda. Ok, no, no me abres. A mí, a mí no me ha funcionado todo el día la plataforma, Ticha. En mi clase anterior sí estuve yo trabajando con la plataforma, pero uh, ahorita estoy viendo que está tardando mucho. 
Ahí está ya abriendo, ¿eh? Ah. Chachán, ok. Bueno, lo siento, que ustedes no tuvieron suerte, yo sí. ¿eh? Así que vamos a verlo juntos, ¿ya? ¿yes? Yes. yes. Y si quieren ver algo más, pues ahí me dicen, ¿verdad? You want to watch a movie? No problem. Ah, no, no, come on. Ok, let's watch the video and to review the yes, no questions with uh, insurance with the bird to be, right? Permítame. Yes. Estamos. No, 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 perdón, estoy en otra plataforma. Ah, sorry. <laughs> ya había cantado Victoria, sorry. No es esa la plataforma. Ok. Por favor, si hay alguna otra preguntita, aprovechemos ahorita que, que voy a ingresar a la plataforma. Espero que sí me dé el pase. Uh, la presentación de PowerPoint de este día eh, se la voy a estar enviando al grupo de WhatsApp, si, si quieren, ¿verdad? Para okay. reforzar. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Ahí está, sí me abrió. Tan, tan, hoy sí. I got the power. Yeah, but woohoo, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Sí, ya decía yo que no era el tema que estábamos viendo, ¿verdad? Ah, aquí nos quedamos. 1.13, right? En el 1.13. Only, only vocabulary. Este video solo es de vocabulario. Only vocabulary. Right? Right. Ah, we're losing time, right? Estamos perdiendo un poquito de tiempo ahí, pero sorry. Yes, it's taking time. Okay. Ah. Oh, yes, it opened. Sí, abrió. Okay, no contaban con mi astucia. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary you see my for screen? discussing how to celebrate. Spe ¿Sí ven mi pantalla? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Yes. Patience. Let's start by listening to the vocabulary on this picture. Mother's Day, Father's Day, Graduation, Wedding, Anniversary. Send. Okay, these are some celebrations, right? Mother's Day, Father's Day, the most special celebration in the world, right? Father's Day, right? Graduation, Wedding, Anniversary, right? Now, the activities we do in these five celebrations listen send cards send cards right give presents take pictures sing songs dance eat cake have a party have a picnic eat special food okay now any question about this vocabulary questions about this vocabulary do you understand Cards, for example, is card, uh, tarjeta, right? Tarjetas, cards. Presents are gift. Present, right? Sing songs like happy birthday. To... Okay. Uh, oh. And then dance. Dancing, right? Woohoo, dancing. Eat cake. This day, for example, some people throw the cake into the face, right? Okay. Have a party, picnic. Party is fiesta, right? And some special food. Hmm? Okay, no questions? Now let's continue. So. Wear special clothes. Now it's time to put these vocabulary words into practice. I would like for you to describe your plans for each of these special holidays. Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation, wedding, anniversary. Uh, let me give a quick example. I'm going to take pictures for my daughter's graduation. I'm going to wear special clothes for my daughter's graduation. After you complete this activity, Share your work in our discussion forums.
Okay, these are examples of things we're going to do, right? Uh, for some celebrations. Uh, don't talk about uh, mother, father, day. let's talk about the next celebration. Listen, Christmas, right? We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Okay, so I need you tell me what are you going to do on Christmas, right? You can include these activities or you can tell me all the activities you're going to do uh, on Christmas. For example, um, I'm going to eat tamales, for example, right? I'm going to eat gallina india. Huh? <laughs> I don't know. Depends of, of, of you, right? Now let's start with Ricardo. Ricardo, what are you going to do on Christmas, Ricardo? Excuse me? What are you going to do on Christmas? I repeat, Ricardo. You can use yep. these activities or you can include more, right? ¿Puedo usarme estas actividades, Richard? Ah, para Christmas. Uh, o, o you can invent other, o puede inventarme otras que usted quiera, right? Okay. Okay. I'm going. I'm going to, to dance. Okay. To dance uh, for me, Daya, Christmas. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're going to dance night, right? Uh, cumbiones, especially, right? <laughs> <Christmas>. <laughs> okay, Carla. Mas, mas. Okay. Carla, what about you, please? I am going to buy um, a clothes oh, for nice. my daughter. Oh, excellent. Very good. Rolando, what are you going to do on your Chris on Christmas? I am going to make a dinner for my family. Excellent. Thank you. Jose, what about you, Jose? Let me see. I'm going to dancing all night. Okay. <laughs> You're going to dance. <laughs> dance. All night. Dance. Right? Yeah. Okay, nice. <laughs> Sara, what are your plans, Sara, for Christmas? What are you going to do, Sara? I'm going to eat a special food. Uh -huh. Nice. Very good. Now, uh, Reina Eloisa. Yes. What are you going to do on Christmas? Um, I am going to bake a cake for my family. Nice, delicious, right? You a cake, <laughs> Rolando a dinner, nice. Alexander. <laughs> Hello, Alexander. What are you going to do on Christmas? I'm going to celebrate... Um, the birthday of my brother. My goodness, what a lucky man is your brother, right? Yeah. Celebrar el cumpleaños el 24 de diciembre. Qué chivo, right? Okay. Right. Nice. Very good. But please, no Muñekov, no Petrov, please. Only soda, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Oscar. Oscar Aparicio. What are you going to do, Oscar, on Christmas? I want to I going to hit chicken. Okay, nice. Chicken, chicken, nice. Now, Aníbal, how about you, Aníbal? What are you going to do on Christmas? Uh, I'm going to take pictures in the Christmas. Okay. No cuetes, Aníbal. No. No, no. Okay. Nice. It's dangerous for kids, especially this year is very sad, right? Este año creo que ni cuete vamos a escuchar en Navidad. Okay. Now, Marvin. Hello, Marvin. What are you going to do on your Christmas? Hello, teacher. And hello, good night. Good evening. Good evening. I'm going with dinner family. Ah, nice. You're going to um, have. A, okay. I have dinner family. Uh, a, a family dinner. A family dinner. A family uh -huh. dinner. Mm -hmm. Um, and what do you plan to eat, Marvin? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. What What do you plan to eat? 
Eh, all Christmas is the turkey. Oh, kabuk kabuk, nice, delicious. Yeah, delicious. Okay. Yeah. Good. Do you have a big family, Marvin? Yes, it's okay, a big family. So, so you need to. It's buy a, a traditional family Salvadorian. Okay, so you need to buy a big turkey, right? Okay. Yeah. De aquellos de 40 dólares. <laughs> okay, very good. Enjoy your turkey. Now, Vanessa, yeah. what are your plans, Vanessa, for Hello. Christmas? Hello, hello. I'm going to spend time with my family. Mm -hmm, nice. Very good. Thank you. Now, Janira. Janira Navarrete, right? How about you, Janira? What? I'm going to have a party. Cool. Please invite the group to dance uh, to that party, right? We want to dance. <laughs> okay, thank you, Yanira. And Jolly. Jolly, please. Hi, teacher. Good Hi. night. Good evening. Teacher, um, good, sorry. Good evening. Teacher, yo no, no puedo este, encender mi cámara por, por problemas de salud. Pero el lunes. Oh, no problem. <laughs> I right. promise. No problem, Jolly. Yeah. Don't worry, right? Okay, um, for Christmas, I'm going to visit my family, uh, aunts, cousins, grandparents, etc. And I'm going to eat turkey with my family and parents, siblings, etc. My goodness, Jolly, you have a big family, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I know. Enjoy, enjoy, right? Yeah. Carla Ortiz. Carla? What Hello? are you going to do? What are you going to do on Christmas, Carla? Uh, I am going to cook and eat chicken. Okay, you're going to cook like eat, like Rolando mm -hmm. with bread. Bread, ah, oh, nice, delicious, right? Yes. Listen, eh. Uh, with my family, we always make this, right? We make or, or turkey or chicken, right? But with bread, you know, panes con pollo, yeah. panes con pavo, right? Okay, chicken. nice. Chicken, chicken yeah. uh, is uh, more, it's more traditional, easy. right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're right. It's it's more easy to to make it with chicken. Yes, yes. I don't like cook. Okay, but the, on Christmas, yes, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, thank anyway. you, thank you. <laughs> it's the exception, the exception yes. of the rule. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay, Edwin, what about you, Edwin? Mr. Reese, what are Hello. your plans for Christmas? Uh, I'm going to visit my family and my friends and mm. enjoy every moment. Excellent. And where do they live, Edwin? Where does your family live? Metapan. Metapan. And you live in Metapan too, right, Edwin? Yes. Okay, good. So it's, it's near, está cerquita, entonces. Really? Ah, okay, good. Nice, nice, Edwin. Thank you. Let me see, to finish, ¿quién me falta? Alejandra Marroquín, right? Alejandra? Hello? Good evening, Alejandra. Alejandra, can you hear me? ¿Me puede escuchar, Alejandra? Parece que no me escucha, ¿verdad? O quizás hay problemas de sonido. Ok, let's continue, right? Sorry, ¿me hizo falta alguien? No, right? Ok, good. So let's continue. Remember, you can make commentaries uh, on this video. Commentaries in this video. Tonight, I won't read it because of the time, right? Tenemos muchas actividades, así que hoy no voy a leer los comentarios. Now, uh, we have this video. The reading, right? What are you going to do on your birthday? No on Christmas, but on your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for details by reading an article about birthday celebrations in different countries. What are you going to do on your birthday? Elena Buenaventura, Madrid. My 21st birthday is on Saturday, 
and I'm going to go out with some friends. To wish me a happy birthday, they're going to pull on my ear 21 times, once for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. Yen Ching Shi, Taipei. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday, so we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Mr. and Mrs. Aoki, Kyoto. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. In Japan, the 60th birthday is called Kandeki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest. Philippe Jolie, Paris. I'm going to be 30 next week, so I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. In France, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, I know it's the opposite. People take you out. Okay. Now let me see. Sorry. Um. Okay, just give me a second. I can come out. Okay, yes, here, right? Let me show you. Good. Now, we're going to read one by one, and then we're going to make questions, right? About the vocabulary, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Listen, Elena Buenaventura, my 21st birthday is on Saturday. And I'm going to go out with my friends. Va a salir con los amigos, right? To wish me happy birthday, they're going to pull, right? Pull is like, like, jalar, right? Pull. Uh, my ears 21 times, right? Le van a jalar la oreja 21 veces. Okay, you know, in El Sado, right? We throw people, right? One, two, three, but in, in Madrid, they pull the ear, right? Jalan las orejas. Uh, it is an old custom. Some people pull to ear just one, right? Algunas personas en Madrid solo jalan la oreja una vez, ¿verdad? But she said that her family is very traditional. Su familia es muy tradicional, así que las 21 veces le van a jalar la, la oreja a la pobre Elena, right? Okay. Then Jan, she, la chinita, right? Sorry. She's from Taipei, right? It says, tomorrow is my 16th birthday. Ah, oh, pena tiene 16, right? It's a special birthday. So we're going to have a family ceremony, right? In El Salvador, is not 16. In El Salvador, is 15, right? Uh, 15 años, remember? Me imagino que las chicas del grupo, ¿verdad? Carla, Vanessa, Yanira, etcétera, etcétera. Uh, you remember, se acuerdan de sus 15 años, me imagino, right? But in, in Taipei, is not 15, it's 16, right? Like in United States, igual que en Estados Unidos, ellos no celebran los 15, sino que los 16. Okay, I'm probably going to get some money. Woohoo! Money, miren, le dan dinero a las que cumplen 16. In lucky in bell for my relatives. Toda la familia le da sobres con billullos ahí a la agasajada. My mother is going to cook noodles. Like the one we have in Maruchan, right? Fideos. Noodles are for long life. Now, Mr. and Mrs. Aoki, Kyoto. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. 60 va a cumplir, señor. Todavía está cipotón, ¿verdad? In Japan, the 60th birthday is called Kanreki. It's the beginning of a new life, right? Para los japoneses, el llegar a los 60 años es llegar a otra vida, a otra etapa de la vida, right? 
the color red represents a new life. Y para ellos el color rojo es muy representativo. So children uh, often give something red as a present. What are our children going to give them? ¿Qué le van a regalar, señora Oki? Pues un, un sombrero y un uh, chaleco rojo, right? Philippe Julie. Philippe is Felipe, right? Paris. Le, le monsieur pour le français, beaucoup pour le, uh -huh. Okay, so I'm going to be 30 next week. Va a cumplir los 30. So I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. Él va a invitar a los amigos. Ok. Así que cuando esté cumpliendo años no les voy a decir porque voy a tener que invitarlos a cenar, ¿verdad? Ok, porque en Francia es lo opuesto. No lo invitan a uno, sino que uno tiene que invitar a los a comer a todos los invitados, ¿verdad? Si Uf, son unos 20, chico. sorry, ahí se fueron todos los ahorros. <ríe> It says, I know it's the opposite, ok, in other countries. Philip dice que en otros países, como en El Salvador, pues, es lo opuesto. A uno lo invitan, ¿verdad? <ríe> ok, good. Any question about vocabulary? Question, question. Good, now let's go to the exercise. Entonces vamos al ejercicio, right? Okay, let me see. Okay, about Elena Buenaventura, listen. Listen, please. To celebrate her birthday, Elena's friends are going to pull her ear 21 times. Para celebrar el cumpleaños le van a jalar la oreja 21 veces. Eh, la siguiente pregunta es retórica, no la van a contestar, ¿verdad? ¿Is true or false? It's true. No. No. True. Don't answer, please. No respondamos porque este es para que lo hagamos solito, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Oh, okay. Es una pregunta retórica, no me la conteste. Okay. So, is true or false, right? Le van a jalar la oreja si... ¿Es verdadero o, o no? False, right? Ahora, Jan Chin Chin, no, Chin Chin Chi. Sorry. El, el inglés me gusta, pero el, el, el chino no. Sorry, no, no. Eh, the question is: Jan Chin is going to cook some noodles. Va a cocinar, ella va a cocinar los noodles on her birthday. Nuevamente es una pregunta retórica, no la conteste. True or false? Is true or false? Okay. Number three. Mr. and Mrs. Aoki. On his birthday, Mr. Aoki is going to receive, aquí es receive, le falta una E, something red. Le van a dar algo rojo al señor Aoki. Is true or false? And finally, Philippe Jolie. Philippe Jolie. Philippe's friends are going to take him out to dinner on his birthday. Los amigos de Philippe lo van a llevar a él a cenar, ¿verdad? En su cumpleaños. That is true or false? Okay. That's it, right? Any question? No, teacher. Oh, thank you, Ricardo. Now, listen. No, teacher. No, okay. Thank you, thank you. Now, listen. Officially, we've finished the section one, right? Oficialmente, estamos terminando ahora la sección uno. ¿Sí? Uh, recuérdense que, como ya habíamos dicho, ¿verdad? Eh, ustedes pueden adelantarse en las secciones, si quieren. ¿Verdad? Y... Lo normal es que vayamos juntos todos, ¿verdad? En las secciones, pero igual, ustedes son libres de trabajar como quieran en la plataforma. La plataforma está 24-7 para ustedes, ¿ok? Así es que cuando quieran, ¿verdad? Y si a él preguntas, ustedes pueden decir, hey, pero si con el teacher vamos a la sección 2 y yo quiero, y yo quiero preguntar de la sección 4, no problem, pregunte. O si ustedes dicen, ah, en la clase quiero que el teacher me responda, 
sir, yes, sir, a sus órdenes, ¿verdad? Ahí estamos. Si quieren que les conteste en la clase, yo ahí estoy, ¿verdad? Para ayudarles. Ese es el propósito de esta clase, ¿verdad? Ayudarles a ustedes que completen la plataforma, que por cierto está teniendo problemitas, pero ya se va a solucionar. Good. Now let's start with section number two. And for section number two, we are going to show you a PowerPoint presentation, right? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, beginner module three, 2.1, word power, parts of the body, parts of the body, right? La parte del cuerpo. And today we're going to learn about half plus noun, feel plus adjective, right? And a conversation, I feel homesick. Me siento Enfermo, right? Me siento mal. Okay, so we're going to talk about health. Vamos a hablar de salud, right? Parts of the body and common medications. Algunas medicinas que son uh, comunes, ¿verdad? Para resfriado, para el dolor de cabeza, dolor muscular, etcétera, etcétera, right? Okay, uh, Ricardo, can you read the objective, please? Be the end of the class, you will, you will, you will learn vocabulary for discuss, discussing? Of the, discussing part of the body. Parts of the body. Thank you, Richard. Now, Vocabulary, listen, head, chest, stomach, <clears throat> hip, knee, ankle, neck, shoulder, arm, back, leg, hand, finger, fingernail, toe, foot, toenail, chin. Good. Now, please, repeat after me. Repeat after me, right? Siempre con los micrófonos apagados. Repeat. Head. Chest. Stomach. Hip. Cadera, right? Hip. Knee. Rodilla. Ankle. Tobillo. Tobillo, right? Neck. Shoulder, arm, arm, back, leg, pierna, right? Leg, como la pierna que nos vamos a comer del pollo en, <ríe> en Navidad, right? Okay, hand, finger. Finger, fingernail, fingernail, toe, dedo del pie, right? Dedo del pie, toe, foot, pie, right? Toenail, uña del dedo del pie, <laughs> toenail, right? Chin, chin, okay? Good. Any question? No. Teacher. No, no questions. Teacher, what? Teacher. Ah, okay. Vamos a comenzar con Jolly. Jolly? Teacher, what is chin? Chin. Look. Uh, barbilla. Mm -hmm, correct. Yeah, okay. Thank you. You're welcome, right? Por ahí había otra pregunta. Please. ¿Alguien me va a preguntar más por ahí? Teacher, what uh -huh. is hip? Hip is the cadera, right? Cadera. Hip. Waist is cintura. And hip is uh, cadera, right? 
Okay. Now, let's continue. The, the next part, right? The next part. Uh, Rolando, please. Rolando, can you read the, the objective for the second part, please? By the end of the class, you will learn how the use have plus now and feel plus adjective to express health problems. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Okay. So how to use this information in the real life, right? Permítame que tengo un mensajito acá. Eh, uh, Alejandra Marroquín, right? Thank you, Alejandra, for your message. Eh, ok, thank you. Thank you, Alejandra, for working. Gracias, Alejandra, por estar trabajando en la plataforma. Thank you very much. Now, let's continue, right? Uh, permítame que quiero ver si los ha anotado a todos este día en la, en la asistencia. Regálenme un segundito. Sí, uh, Alejandra no la había anotado. Denme un segundito. Just a second, please. I'm sorry. Alejandra. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Let's continue, please. Let's continue, right? Teacher. Yes, yes. ¿A qué hora tomo asistencia? Uh, es que llevo la asistencia desde el lunes y solo le voy poniendo un puntito. <laughs> Voy viendo la cámara rápido y solo les pongo un puntito. Yes, oh. hoy estamos... Me salen 25. Yes. Ok, en total somos 30. Pero, pero me anotó, es que a veces me saca y no sé si... No, 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 necesito. pero yo no lo saco. ¿no? Lo, es que lo que pasa es que desde la oficina eh, les dan el permiso de, de entrar. Y eh, a veces... Eh, se, el, el, la, bueno, la clase, pues el Zoom lo saca, pero es por la inestabilidad del, del, del internet, ¿verdad? Sí. sí. Voy a pensar que yo lo saco del, del grupo, porque yo no puedo, yo solo puedo entrar nada más. ¿Ok? Pero sí okay. ya les tomé asistencia. ¿Verdad? Así que tranquilos. No problem, no problem. Ok. Now. Vocabulary for the second part, please. Matter, headache, backache, the flu, homesick, better. Okay, only that, right? Now, please, repeat after me, please. Matter, headache, headache, backache, the flu. Homesick. Better. Now, any question about this? What is the meaning? Headache. Headache is when there is a pain on your head. Oh, a pain on my head. Headache. Okay. Uh, uh, ache means dolor. Ache. And head is cabeza, right? So head, ache, dolor de cabeza, okay? okay. Backache, ache is dolor de espalda, right? Backache, huh? Okay. Headache, backache. Earache, dolor de oído, earache, huh? Et cetera, et cetera, right? We can also say pain, hurt, or ache. Los tres significan lo mismo, ¿verdad? Dolor, okay? Good. Any other question? Questions, questions, questions? Okay, good. Now let's continue, right? Now, how to use have plus noun, right? Look, I have, yo tengo, right? An eric. Tengo un dolor de oído, right? An eric. I have a pain in my chest. Oh, my chest, right? Oh, I have a pain in my chest. An ache, un dolor, right? An ache, a pain in my chest. 
I have a pain in my ribs. Costilla, right? My ribs. A pain in my ribs, right? I have fever. Oh, okay. Good. Bueno, en todos lados nos andan revisando con, con los termómetros electrónicos, ¿verdad? Así que es fácil detectar la fiebre. So, a fever. I have a fever. Listen. I have a cough. <laughs> a cough. I have a cough. I have a toothache. Oh, oh I have a toothache, right? Oh, okay. I have a cold. Uh, uh, a cold, right? Refrio. I have a cold. I have a runny nose, right? Okay. <laughs> runny nose. Eh, mocoso. <laughs> People say, ando mocoso, right? A runny nose. A runny nose, right? Good. Now, please, repeat after me. I have an earache. I have a pain in my chest. I have a pain in my ribs. I have a fever. I have a cough. I have a toothache. I have a cold. I have a runny nose. Okay, very good. Uh, por ahí se nos incorporó Lilian también. Bienvenida, Lilian. Yes. Eh, ya le tomamos asistencia también a Lilian. Yes. Uh, y repito, ¿verdad? Este, a veces por el internet no podemos ingresar, ¿verdad? O a veces nos, nos sacan, ¿verdad? <risa> Recuerde, no es el teacher, ¿eh? No es el teacher que lo saca, ¿ok? Now, listen. How plus a noun, right? An earache, pain, fever, cough, toothache, cold, and runny nose are now, right? Vamos a usar nombres más el verbo have, right? ¿Ok? Now, the other one is feel. Feel plus adjective. Listen, it's not feel plus noun, no. It's feel plus adjective. Listen, I feel bad. No, I don't feel bad. It's just an example. In the case of the teacher, I feel good. I feel good, right? No problem. But this is only the example. I feel bad. I feel dizzy. Dizzy. I feel nauseous. You know, nauseous. Nauseous, right? I feel weak. Devil, right? Devil. Weak. I feel I feel short of breath. <sighs> For example, the coronavirus huh? is very common. Short of breath. Corto de respiración. Okay, short of breath. I feel nice. Ah, the, the, the opposite. The, the, the. I feel better. Me siento mejor, right? I feel good. Understand? So now, please, repeat after me. I feel bad. I feel dizzy. I feel nauseous. I feel weak. I feel short of breath. I feel nice. I feel better. I feel good. Now, any question? Yes, Jose? Yes. Tell yes, me. teacher. Tell me. Jose? Yes, teacher. I mean, do you have questions, Jose? No, it's okay, no, no. teacher. Ah, it's okay. <laughs> no, I, uh -huh. thought, I thought you have a question. 
Pensé que tenía una pregunta, José. No, no, ok, good. No, it's ok. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Nobody? Sara, Richard, Lilian, Alex, Oscar, no? Questions? No. Ok. It's ok, teacher. I don't have. Ok, thank you. Now, listen, look at the difference, right? Have plus noun, right? And feel plus adjective. plus adjective. These are not nouns. These are adjectives, right? Okay? Good. Now, we're going to go to the third one, right? El punto número 2.5, right? Uh, Vanessa, can you read the objective, please? Objective number three for this class. Yes. By the end of this class, you will learn the names of common medication for health. Thank you very much. So, number one, the parts of the body, right? Las partes del cuerpo. Number two, eh, illness or problems, right? With your health. Huh? Eh, problemas de salud. And number three, medication. Medicine, right? So, let's take a look of the vocabulary here. An antibiotic, cough medicine, an ointment, an antihistamine, vitamins, eye drops, a painkiller, a nas nasal spray, cold tablets. Okay, now. Please repeat after me. An antibiotic. Antibiotic. Cough medicine. Cough. <laughs> cough, right? Cough medicine. An ointment. Oin oin ointment, right? An antihistamine. Antihistamine. Vitamins, eye drops, a painkiller, a nasal spray, cold tablets. Okay, any question? Teacher, what do you say? A painkiller. ¿Qué eh, significa? Ajá. Uh -huh. What is the meaning of painkiller? Is eh, analgésico, right? Like, like, la, like we say. Acetaminofen. Acetaminofen, ajá. Uh -huh. e ibuprofeno. Bueno, ya. Yeah. Painkiller. Es, es ok. Como el que mata el dolor, right? Uh -huh. Yes. Es, yes. Oh, en medicina, ahí ando super mal, pero entiendo que un analgésico es. Eh, que mata el dolor, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes, teacher. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, any other question? Ointment is ungüento, right? Ungüento. Eh, Antihistamine is eh, antialérgico. Antialérgico, right? And antibiotic is anti, antibiótico. ¿Qué sería uh, en español? Vamos a ver. Antibiótico. Antibiótico. Oh, Amoxicilina. Ah, oh. interesting. ¿Y cuál es la diferencia de uh, antibiótico con uh, analgésico? El analgésico es para el dolor y el ah. antibiótico para tipo de infección. infección. My goodness, thank you very much. Ya aprendí algo. <risa> eh, los anti, antibióticos son para infecciones y los, los analgésicos son para el dolor. Ok, good. Yes. Next time I go to the pharmacy, <risa> uh, now I know the difference. Cold tablet. What means cold tablet? An ointment. The, ointment is ungüento. Like, you okay. know, thank like, you. for example, eh, cofal. Cofal, right? <risa> Cofal is anointment, or eh, ¿cuál es uno que sale un anuncio que se quiebra el, el pie el futbolista? El beat. Ajá, I guess. No sí. me recuerdo bien, pero yes, you know, un beat buen. Beat. No, listen. 
but is I will I will write something for you. Listen, I will copy. Listen, this is interesting. Le va a interesar esto. Okay, big vaporuk, right? Yes. Aquí va el nombre original. Se van a ir de espaldas. Big vapor rub. Este es el nombre original. Big vapor rub. Vapor rub. Okay, big es la marca, ¿verdad? Como decir Pérez Hernández, big, right? Vapor es vapor. Ok, porque el ungüento expide un vapor. Del mentolo, no sé qué le echan. Y rub es sobar. Sobar, rub. Ok. Entonces uh -huh. es big, el vapor que cura cuando lo soban a uno, ¿verdad? Yeah. Entonces el verdadero nombre, listen, es big vapor rub. rub. Vapor rub. Okay. Okay. Que nosotros le decimos Big Vaporuk. <risa> <risa> otro, le voy a dar otro, ya, ya que hablamos de comerciales, ¿verdad? Bistec. Bistec, right? ¿Quién no ha comido un bistec encebollado, verdad? <risa> bistec. ¿Cuál es el nombre original? Beef, que quiere decir res. Y steak. Sorry, steak. Es un corte de carne. Entonces, beef steak es un corne, corte de carne de res. Beef steak. En El Salvador decimos bistec. Bistec. Okay. Ahí están los nombres originales, ¿verdad? Solo que si mañana van okay. al comedor, no van a decir, me da un beef steak, por favor. Hey. <ríe> Tenemos que seguir hablando igual, ¿verdad? Bistec. Uh -huh. Ok, o llegan a la farmacia... Me da un Big Vapor Rub. <ríe> no, siempre digan Big Vapor Rub, right? <ríe> Porque si no, no les van a entender. Ok, now let's continue. Let's continue, please. Um, oops. Por aquí no hemos quedado. Yes. So, do you have any question about the, the, the vocabulary for medicine? Cold tablet. Ah, cold tablet is for... Uh, por de antigripal. No, no sería. Okay. Sí, no. Es que el resfrío es algo más sencillo, ¿verdad? La gripe es un poco más fuerte. Entonces sería anti antirefríos, tabletas contra el, contra el resfrío. Sí, ¿eh? sí. sí, como la, okay. la, la, ¿cómo se llama esta? Una que vende no. en, en Virogrip. La Virogrip, la famosa Virogrip. Ok, la virus. Ok, thank you, teacher. Ok, you're welcome, you're welcome. Good, so now let's go to the platform, right? Vamos a ir a la plataforma, now, please. Antes de que se nos acabe el tiempo, porque ya solo nos van quedando 10 minutos. Let me see. Ok, let's watch, please. Uh, sorry, course, aquí okay. vamos. Ah, oh, sorry. Está súper lenta la plataforma, ¿ok? Good. Eh, aprovechando, eh, le recuerdo que el, el lunes no hay clases, right? Porque oh. es eh, asueto. Uh -uh. Ya no me deja entrar a la plataforma. Es no asueto. carga, ticha. Yo estaba queriendo meterme y no carga de mi pero, celular. Pero mire, a mí me, a mí me había cargado. Vamos a darle tiempo, entonces, pero les recuerdo que la otra semana, entonces, vamos a, a tener clases viernes, si no, no me cargo. Vamos a tener clase el viernes. Mañana, mañana no hay clases. Recuérdense que las clases son de lunes a, ju a jueves. Sí, ya cargó. <ríe> Very good. Pero la otra semana, como es el lunes cae feriado, entonces vamos a tener clases de, de lunes, perdón, de martes a, a viernes, right? ¿Ok? Sí, lo siento, como repito, que no les cargan su celular especialmente, pero 
Es que el servidor, ¿verdad? En la oficina están rebuscándose ahí por resolver el problema, pero es un poquito más allá del... <ríe> Otra vez. Sorry. Sorry, los he hecho perder mucho tiempo en esto, pero ni modo, ¿verdad? Este cuesta que cargue. Ok, in the meantime, para mientras, eh, uh, you can ask me about the parts of the body, right? The parts of the body. Sigue sí, intentando, si sí, hace ratito vimos los videos, ¿verdad? Voy a abrir otra, otra página, permítame. For example, you can say, how do you say, how do you say, for example, Mejia in English? How do you say um, Pomulus in English, right? How do you say Hígado in English? How do you say, um, uh, For example, how do you say uh, pulmones, right? No, no, me deja entrar. No me deja entrar. Ok, entonces para terminar, espero que para el martes ya podamos ver estos videos. Para el martes. Sí, porque no me las abre. Ah, aquí está. Finally, right? Al menos un video vamos a ver. Okay, pay attention, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for discussing the... Okay, but uh, I will give you the answer. Le voy a dar la respuesta. Uh, hígado is liver. L-I-V-E-R, right? Liver. Uh, pulmones is lungs. L-U-N-G-S, lungs. Uh, Uh, mejilla is chick c h e e k chick y pómulos es bone chick bone como huesito bone bone chick right okay now let's go and see more parts of Different the body parts of the body let's get started by listening and practicing parts of the body head eye ear Nose, mouth, tooth, teeth, chin, back, shoulder, chest, stomach, throat, neck, wrist, arm, elbow, thumb, Hand, finger, fingers, leg, knee, ankle, foot, feet, toe, toes. Make sure that you memorize this vocabulary. An easy way to do this is by pointing to your head and expressing this is my head then pointing to your arm and saying this is my arm remember the goal is to learn this vocabulary so do this until you have learned all the vocabulary words okay now the parts of the body right wrist arm This is the head, the eye, two eyes, right? The ear, the nose, the mouth, singular tooth, un diente, right? Teeth, plural, right? Chin, okay? Barbilla, right? Back, espalda, right? Shoulder, chest, stomach, right? Thumb is el dedo gordito, thumb. Hand, this is la mano, hand. And the finger, right? Finger. Y las uñas, ya vimos anteriormente, fingernail, fingernail. 
los deditos, ¿cómo se llaman? El dedito chiquito se llama pinky, pinky. Este dedo se llama ring, es el dedo del anillo, ¿verdad? Dan, 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 dan. Look at me, right? I'm married. <laughs> ok, el, el de en medio es eh, the middle, right? El middle. Y este es el index, index, el dedo índice, index. Index, middle, ring y pinky. Y el gordito se llama thumb, thumb, right? Thumb. Now, throat, la garganta, el neck. El neck es todo lo que rodea, ¿verdad? Y el throat es solo donde pasa la comida, right? Wrist, muñeca. Arm, es todo el brazo, arm. Elbow, es el codo. Que no sé por qué los tacaños así les dicen, ¿verdad? Elbow, you are very elbow. <laughs> Ok. Leg. La pierna, right? Knee, la rodilla. Ankle, el tobillo, right? Foot. Es el pie. Y feet, en plural, dos pies. Toe, es el, el, los dedos de los pies, ¿verdad? Y toenail, es la uña de los pies, right? Ok. Otras palabras eh, que podemos usar, el hip es la, la cadera, right? El wrist, la cintura. Ribs, las costillas, the ribs. Eh, thigh, thigh es el, la pierna, right? Pero la pierna del muslo, ¿ok? Y que otra parte, el, eh, la mejilla, como ya les dije, era chic, chic. Hay una canción que se llama Lady in Red, que dice, She's dancing with me, chick to the chick, dice, ella está bailando conmigo cachete a cachete. <ríe> ok. Muchos de los que están aquí no, no saben de eso, ¿verdad? En el pasado hacíamos bailes. O ya casi no se hacen. Ok, good. Now, any other question? ¿Alguna otra pregunta de las partes del cuerpo? Algo que quieran saber, ¿cómo se dice? Ah, frente. Frente es forehead. F-R-O, no, sorry. F-O-R-E. F-O-R-E. Forehead. Ok. No. Questions? Ceja. Teacher. Eyebrow, eyebrow, ceja, <laughs> eyebrow. Ajá, Yoli. Teacher, mm -hmm. um, how do you say pestañas in English? Slash, slashes. Mm -hmm. Lashes. Slashes, uh -huh. Pestañas. Good. Any other question? Questions? In this case, I will copy for you. This is the last one, right? Listen, I will copy some of the words. Para terminar, le voy a copiar una de las palabras. Uh, I say, eyelash, right? Eyelash. Yes? Eyelash. Pestaña, right? Eyebrow. Eyebrow, creo que va junto, sí, eyebrow. Eh, son las cejas, las cejas, right? Cheek. Cachete, mejilla, right? Eh, liver, hígado. Lungs, pulmones, heart. Corazón, intestino, right? Intestine. Short and long, right? El corto es short y el largo es long. Eh, what else? Ah, frente, forehead. And los dedos de la mano, pinky. El dedito chiquito, right? El ring, el del anillo. Middle. Index. Y el thumb, right? 
Son los cinco dedos de los de la mano, right? Good. This is general information, right? So on Tuesday, para el próximo martes, right? We are going to continue watching the video, right? Les quedo debiendo otra vez dos videos. So I don't know if you have any question. Any question, class, before we finish? Sorry that I take five minutes. Nuevamente le robé cinco minutos. Excuse me. No problem. So, have a no good problem, night. No problem. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Good night, teacher. Good night. God bless you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.